Hi guys, welcome to Carmen Catherine's Reef. So today we are doing this little guy, Countdown to Christmas, Miss Snowman, Tractor Supply. So I got a bunch of goodies we're going to show before we get started. So Tractor Supply has all these little snowman. You know I'm a snowman freak, right? They're normally $3.99, 40% off. And if you have a royalty discount card, then you can get one, another discount. So I paid like $1.90 a piece for these. They have their little ornaments on sale. Really, really cute. Little boats, so, so cute. We have another snowman, like the one I kind of like the one I did before, a different hat. We have this little guy. Santa Claus, and he's on a sleigh. Normally, it's nine ninety nine. Is that nine ninety nine? Yep, $10, 40% off. $6 plus another discount because of my card. $6 for this little snowman on a sleigh, plus another discount. And the best part, you know how hard it is to find Santa Claus? Look at this sign. Perfect for in the center of a reef. Perfect. $7.99 regular price. Discounted 40% off that $8, guys. You're looking at $5. Isn't that cute? And we have a snowman, too. So all this from Tractor Supply. So I'm going to put this up, and we are going to get started. Today we are going to use the 18-inch. You can get this at Walmart, Craft Outlet, Hobby Lobby. They all have the 18-inch round frame. It's the floor frame. We're going to use zip ties. I am running low on my Christmas colors, but we're going to use white with gold. I have something really cool I'm going to be doing with our ribbon today on our Provo. So I'm going to clear this up. My shop is a mess because we're busy. But I will be right back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, so I am using the white with gold metallic from Paper Mart. And it's the 21 inch, okay? And we're going to do the zip tie, single zip tie method. But we do not want the whole center covered because this, we have such a big piece going in it. And like I said, we're doing a little bit different with our ribbon today as well. So you're just going to take about an inch inch and a half. You want to put that under your bar. Okay. And I use the zip ties. Everybody knows. We are all about our zip ties. So if this is first time watching, the zip ties, I, these particular zip ties I got from Walmart in the plumbing section. You can get them from Dollar Tree as well. These just happen to be a little more sturdier. take your end piece right here. This is a nice clean back everybody so so because we're doing 10 inch bubbles with the single zip tie method you're not going to have the whole entire center closed in. If you want the whole entire center done you're going to want to do between 12 and 14 on an 18 inch, okay? So the best way to do this is you just measure it from one section to another, pull it upwards, give you a nice little gathering. I love my metallic uh, mesh. Like I said, this is not going to cover the whole thing. We don't want it covered. Just gonna take your zip tie around your bar in the inner circle. Last bar in. You can use a three ring. You don't have to use a four ring because you're only using one bar. It's all you use for this. And I do this on a lot of reefs, but so I pull my zip tie. Because the zip tie slides, which is good. You want it to. And push it over. And you can gather this up. You can do this if you want. Some people like to gather their mush. And then go one, two, over. 
some people do the one, two, three and pull it over. So that is two. These are Utility Scissors by Fizzers. I got them at Lowe's. Sorry. I'm not dressed up today, guys. One and two. Over. You can pull it out if you want. My favorite part when I use this, I don't really want that too far out is I like to do, and you can do 8 inch with this too, honestly I might take this out. I think it'll be fine even with the bigger loops because it's going to cover the center, it'll be fine. Um, if you don't want this to cover up all the way to the center, do your eight, eight inches, okay? I'm doing ten inches, but I would probably, if you don't want it all the way in the center, do eight. But you can always scrunch it up, too. Okay. Make sure that every one is the same size or you're going to have a big uneven reef. So you don't want to do 10 inches and 8 inches. You'll have a lopsided reef, okay? So with the 18 inches, I would do 5 in each section. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to need two rolls or not. If you're going to do 8 inches, and five in each section, you shouldn't need more than one row. So we shall see. So do I'll do one more. Facebook, you saw how excited I was about all my little goodies I got from Tractor Supply. I know a bunch of you are headed down there. Get it while it lasts. It's gonna, it's starting to fly off the shelves. So um, definitely get it. Send me some pictures on Facebook so I can see what you guys came up with. I like to see what you guys create for my designs. So go ahead and do five in each section. This is going to be pretty. No more than five because we have ribbon that we got to use, all right? So if you do six in each section, it's going to be too bulky. And we want to kind of flatten this down because we have a big piece we're using. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I want you guys, I have a lot of students that work with me. Put me on pause. Go ahead and fill up your whole entire reef. Get this back up so they can see this. You're just going to keep putting it up and keep. Let me get. Do you have a close up of the first bar, honey, that I'm doing? So they can see. I got a lot of new people every day, so I want to make sure they see this. Yes, guys. Cubby's filming today. Been doing it on my own for the past week. Okay, so here we go for all my new people. Welcome. One section, two sections. This is 10 inches. So you're going to one bar, two bar. You're pulling it back. Zip ties are easy, They're, they slip and slide on your. Um, on your bars here. All you're doing is just putting your zip tie around your loop, flat side in guys, 
for my new people. so they can see it. So one, two, that's ten inches. You can use a ruler if you feel like you need a ruler. If you want to gather your loops in, you can, but this should just pull right back. See that? Just like that. And you can fluff them out. And you just put a single zip tie over your bar, right over your inner bar. That's all we're doing. And it's real fast, easy way to make a full wreath. If you want to fill up your 18 inches all the way completely in the center where there's no little hole in it, you're going to do 12 inches with this instead of 10. So I would use a ruler. Okay? So go ahead. Fill up your whole entire wreath, get to the very end, and unpause me, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're putting him on last. And if you do this in 8-inch poofs and only 4 in each section, all you will need is one roll. If you do 5 in each section in the 10-inch poofs like I did, then you're going to need a whole roll and then 10 extra poofs. All right, and I left these in the back because I don't want to um, tie this down yet until after we do our ribbon. All right, so this is how much I have left of my second roll. So it's like one and a half, all right, on an 18 inch frame. And this is beautiful. So, you know how we see all this pretty ribbon, and it's only like an inch big. Now on Regina Sellers Large Provo and on all her models she has these little teeny weeny pegs. This is for your one and one and a half inch. And you can make a teeny, it's not really teeny when you're using, I'm using three. These came from Walmart. They're $1.78 each. And then the green came from Craft Outlet. Okay. So you're going to do it just like if you were doing a regular bow. You're going to go around the teeny weeny weeny <laughs> little finger. You're going to wrap it around your center finger first, your forefinger I should say, because your center is this row. Okay, and we're using all the little, little, little teeny weeny ones at the bottom. There's six little fingers on each side. And you're going to take this, just it's just like if we were doing a regular bow but it's tiny. So I like to kind of push mine in. It's so small. So you're just going to half a twist over half it. You're going to ice scrunch it, twist it over. So if you remember in the fall when I used uh, what ribbon was that? Dollar Tree's lace ribbon. This is what I should have used it on. These teeny weeny little fingers to make a bow. And you're just going to scrunch it, twist it, your bottoms up mo movement over the teeny weeny fingers. And just do it all the way around. And it's actually bigger than what people think. It's actually cute. Just want to do something different. Show you we can use all our ribbon. Even our little, little, little ribbons we love so much. Just make sure that it's, don't over tighten it. Same rules apply with the little baby ribbons as the big ribbons, okay? And I'm using three ribbons at once. This is most popular method is done with usually one or two ribbons. It's a cute bow for like a, a Christmas present. Um, your kids will probably want to keep it, not rip it off. 
It's a decorative bow. It's cute. It's really cute. This is all we're doing. And it doesn't take a lot of ribbon to make this cute little bow because it's so small. See, I'm using three, three hunts. Just our neighbors. So you can always use your little helping hand, but guys, if you start doing this all the time, you don't need it. I don't need it. I don't think you're going to need it. So you just finish it off. So, now I am not cutting legs, but I'm not cutting this off at all. Let me show you why. So I am going to twist it over like I'm making another finger. Make sure that you, this is so tight. Just make sure you get it all the way off, guys, okay? biggest mistake I'm seeing everybody make is they're leaving their wire around your center finger and that will ruin your whole bow when you go to pull it out guess what you're gonna have some little legs longer than the other and it's gonna pull on the other little <coughs> legs and make a lopsided bow and that's what you're doing wrong make sure tight Just take it off. Move this over. So I am going to fluff it, but all I'm doing is fluffing it. Some people take both of these and just anchor it. Remember, we're not doing anything with the legs. We're just leaving those there for now. And just like if you were making a regular bow. Okay, guys. We just had to check our door. Dogs are hyper when people start coming home. Um, so anyways, where were we at? We're going to start fluffing our bow. Leave your legs there. And just like if you were fluffing a regular bow, just going to do that with the itty bitty one. So, what you can do with the big ribbon, you can do the small. It's just kind of grumpy on your hands, but I like it. See it you're going to see why I'm doing this in just a minute. So, you're just fluffing it out. do something to bring the colors out of the snowman but I have all that blue but he's mainly green and red so I wanted to do something to bring it out and I saw this ribbon and fell in love with it so I said you know what I haven't done a tutorial on that yet on the small ribbons and I actually use this quite a bit so why not? And your fingers, it is a little tight. Once you start getting used to doing this, though, it's easy. This is the center finger, I believe. Yep, it's real tight. Actually, an adorable, cute. Now that's the center finger. It's how tight it is, but it's so cute. But all you do is you just fluff it out. 
just like you would a regular bow. This is wired ribbon. You can use non-wired ribbon, guys, because it's so tight. It would fluff. Just um, spray it with your stiffened stuff to keep its shape. If you're using your non-wired ribbon, I'm just a wire ribbon gal. But I hear all the time I have one inch, one inch, one and a half inch ribbon. What do I do with it? This is what we do. So this is how you use the lace from the Dollar Tree that comes out in October. And actually I have some and I might do a tutorial on that as well. Another tutorial to show you guys how to use that. I have lace. See? Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is what we want. Alright, so now you're just going to take it off. Probably thinking this girl's crazy. Oop. Got idea. So, I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to anchor this part down here around your bars in the back. Twist it. Remember, we still have to, that's why we haven't put these backs on yet, the ends. And we'll clean up the back too. Okay, that's so all we're doing. And so you see how I made this bow? You can make two of them. And I'm probably going to do one off camera and put it all together for y'all so you can see. Depends on how it, how it looks with my little guy on it. So now, you know how I do the weaving technique? This is why we have some extra here. So all you're going to do, take your pretty side up. form of my ribbon wreath with all zip ties. And zip ties. Someone asked me, you know, because I do the weaving method and I said, oh, I have another method. I just haven't showed you yet. Best for last. So if you're just going around your bar, and I try to use the inner bar for this little poofy part of the ribbon. See, you want it to be up a little bit because it's going to gather up nice and pretty. Now, I know everybody's seeing all the beautiful, a lot of people are using different techniques with the ribbon. So I want to show you mine. So now we're going to do another one. We're probably going to run out of this one inch, but I bought another roll, two more rolls just in case. So you can either take your take your little ribbons, and you can go up or you can go over. I think we're going to go. This is why I said I'm going to make another bow. I don't want to show you guys the bow four or five times because it's the same bow I'm making. No sense in that. So you can make, you can take your legs, go through. I want it to kind of. Crossing it. 
um, you want it to kind of go through this and you can do another bow just like that over here and you can tie this off once you're done wrapping it. So I'm going to go over here to this side. Make sure that your ribbons kind of want the same shape. Is that the dogs again? I don't know what they're doing. So here we go. Take it. You can use your second bar or your first for this one. Remember, we have all these bars free. Okay. Take another zip tie. I'm actually going to put it on the second bar. I have my ribbon shaped the way I want it. So always shape your ribbon. You can curl it too. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Take it again. You see what we're doing? All we're doing is we're pulling it through and just shaping it. And each way you shape it is fine. You can do it any way. You can crisscross it. You can pull it out. So it all looks the same. back into the inner bar that one was take the zip tie it's your last bar inside and because the bar is overlapping it where we stopped it to start the next section kind of go into the next level over you just put the zip tie around your bar in between. Let me show them so they don't. Right there. All you're doing is you're zip tying it in. Inside around your bar. That's all you're doing. Play with your ribbons. Not too much. It on the rolls. I love the Pro Bow. Yes, mine is the deluxe version, if that's what you're wondering. I get to ask that all the time. Oh, Pro Bow the hand is the only place you're going to be able to get the large Pro Bow right now. Amazon is sold out, guys. So, you waited to get paid to get it. You're going to have to get it through Miss Regina. I don't know if, um, I don't know if Craft Outlet has any left or not. So now we're going to come over here. You kind of want to keep it the same colors. Alright. All we're going to do is take it, go under this cute little bow. Make sure you get this out. Make sure the colors are right. That's gonna bother me. So I'm gonna overlap them the way I want them to sit there. Leave it a little bit loose so you can play with it too. Let's go right underneath right to your second bar and I'm going to take another zip tie I told you I had something planned 
and we're going to go around the second bar. If you want to do the first, you can. I'm going around the rock, the rod part and the second bar over. Okay. And of course, my zip tie is not flat. So this one is a little bit harder because you do have your uh, floral wire right there as well. So just let me all know. It's going to be just a tad bit higher, harder. You can put it around the first one if you want. I like to put it around the second. So here we go. And we're not done. So now you have your curlies. Alright. Wow, I thought we were going to run out because this is not a lot of ribbon, but we're fine. So you can, I'm going to cut this off. I do have more ribbon. So if I wanted to, I'm just cut it. Thank you. Oh, I'm done with that one too? Well, I guess they were up both 10 yards because this is the first time I used that. So they're 10 yards. Just small. I know you guys have seen this already. Your curly technique. You're streaming it. And you're making your curl. Wired ribbon is the best way to do this. This one probably is going to be a little bit harder to do. So all you're doing is just curling it. And letting it drape down. So guess what guys? We're going to put our little guy in the center and there's nothing else we have to do to decorate because the ribbon is doing all of it. Okay guys, so hubby, again, brilliant minds. We work very well together. Take a glue stick, start at the bottom. And this is only with your wired ribbon, okay? And all you're going to do just wrap it around, that way you guys don't, a lot of you guys have arthritis, a lot of you do, I don't want your hands to hurt from doing this, great little trick, works well with wired ribbon, just a glue stick, that's all you need, look at this, just shaping it, take a glue stick out, just move it, loosen it up just a little bit. Like that. Perfect. So you don't have to sit there and twirl it with your hands. So, you can add more on this. And I probably will off camera add a couple more streamers. Because um, I have more. Should I do it on camera or are they going to get upset with me? I don't want them upset with me. <laughs> so off camera, what I'll do is it's about make sure that way if you guys want to add more streamers to the back of it. It's really easy to do. This is my favorite one. So just take it and measure it out. Remember this is curled. So it's definitely going to be a little bit longer. So, where's my... About three feet. About three feet. About three feet. Just cut it. Take a glue stick. Start wrapping it around.
Because now you can do it tight or you can do it loose. See how I did that one tight and then pulled it through? This one is just a loose curl. All you're doing is just wrapping it around loosely without, and you don't have to really pull it through. This is really cool, honey. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm going to just wrap this to do it and then show y'all. Be careful of the wires. Just follow you down. See that? So, you can take it and take your floral wire. So, you can put one red here, one green there, one there. You can put short ones, long ones. Take your floral wire, or you can take a zip tie and just attach it to the back. Just make sure that you get it underneath your bow when you do it. That way it's nice and anchored, okay? So, all I'm doing is taking the one we just did in half, and again, zip tie to the bar all we're doing. reason why I started doing zip ties is I, I work with my um, seniors and my mature women that I love because I am definitely not a young chick myself and our hands hurt a lot so I just I do everything in zip ties. So I do everything in zip ties guys how pretty that is. So now, before we put our little snowman on, we want to get this back cleaned up, guys. Take. And all you have to do is just take your zip ties, once again, zip ties to the rescue. I just want to make sure I got the ribbon on first, and I didn't need any of the bars. So all if you don't hear it zipper, then it ain't working, okay? Isn't working, sorry about that. So this is two pieces, two different sections. I would take one up here so it's nice and clean. And you can even trim off some of the ends if you want. You can even put an extra zip tie on it to make it um, completely down or just trim off the little part. Just remember anytime you're cutting it can fray. So I really don't like to cut my ends that much. Unless I'm making my flowers and we all know we use our protective with that. So again zip tie Always try to make sure you don't flip this over with your nice bow because it will flatten it out. And you're going to fluff the bow out again once you're done. Trim up those little ends. You want this to be as clean as possible, okay? There you go. This is so, so pretty. Probably going to add... Put this around like I don't know yet. I might just put this around. I don't know till I'm off camera. I'll figure it out and I'll show you. And add another red piece on this side. I'm not sure yet. So, anyways, we're gonna take our countdown to Christmas. He's so cute. Thank you so so much to my tractor supply. I love you. Thank you for your awesome products. So we're going to um, go ahead and cut this off. Remember, 40% off and a discount. Now, no glue on him. You don't want to ruin him. 
and the dice move around so you want to make sure they're nice and secure and up on the wall so keep the tape there and you can move that around with your child or your customer or whatever so you have two choices we can put our streamers going over I like it like that I am using 26 inch green floral wire because you won't be able to see you do not want to glue this so you can make these your ribbon chunkier on the outside if you want all right and you can shape it once you get this guy on so all I'm doing is I'm taking my wire around the Christmas tree and I have a lot of stuff coming up springtime and summer with our factory supply so very psyched about this tractor supply sorry did I say tractor before or, or messed up mm -hmm. tractor supply sorry thinking about I got my pine cones for factories so now his little arms are around the tree again take a long enough piece of your green wire because you want to try to get it where this is anchored down okay so I'm going underneath his arm around his arm you don't even see this around again in his arm and the other side is around the tree because this is a heavy piece so you don't want this to fall off and break And like I said, I have a lot of stuff planned for tractor supply. So you don't even see the wire because it matches, it's green. And you don't have to put it around the tree there if you don't want to. Look guys, if you're very particular about stuff like that, some people will say, well, I don't like that. To me, I'd rather anchor it down, but if you don't want to, you most certainly can just put it around his arms and you don't see it at all, okay? So this is on the bottom, behind the little berry bush, around the bottom. This one is around his arms. You wanna pull this, let me get this. I wanna tie this first. Let me tie this to make sure it's tight. Yes, you can tie your floral wire. And you can also glue it if you feel you need to. Pull it inside. And pull your ribbons. This is why I left the ribbons a little bit loose. Because they're decorative. Inside. Push your little teeny mini bow up. There we go. You got this side, and you got this side. Remember, we tied that down. All you're doing is anchoring it. And I would probably go as much as you can around this. You can put more than one piece of wire, too. You can anchor it more than that. This wire has like a plastic coating on it too, so it's really good. I'm going to take it up where the bow is. Less ribbon, the better. Less mess, I mean. I'm anchoring it on. Remember, we tied it in the knot at the bottom, so it's fine. So you can take some hot glue if you want, and you can put over this to secure it if you want. You do not need to, because you can ru actually ruin the wood that way. But all you do is just gonna play with your little ribbons. 
You can add some ornaments on this. I think the ribbons are perfectly fine. You don't want to overdo it and take away from the snowman either. And you fluff your bow out. So I'm probably going to end up trimming this one off. Sorry. I think I'm going to add... Um, yeah. So I'm going to add another red piece recurl this one gets it uncurled and I am going to probably with this you know what it's not a bad idea though always come up with something new See what I'm doing? Weaving the ribbon in, the green piece, because I didn't like the way it looked. Just weaving it in. You don't have to do this, but I want to. Extra security for those of you that are nervous about your him falling off. Guess what we just did? We anchored him down with the ribbon that's tied on the top through the snowman onto the bottom. What I'm going to do is just take it a little bit tighter. Look at a knot. Because I know people are going to get. I know my viewers. Another zip tie. No glue. And I got rid of that one green piece. It was getting on my nerves. I'm so sorry. There we go. And you just fluff this out. Make it as pretty as you want. Like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to recurl this. And I'm going to add a couple more pieces to it. And then I'm going to hang it up. So I'm going to add one more red and one more snow. Because that's all I got left. Got a little bit of red left. And then we will be done with it. So I will hang it up and I will be right back with you. Okay guys, look at how festive and cute he is. All from Tractor Supply. We did the Christmas tree yesterday. We did the snowman today. We've done the deer. We've done the horse. Another snowman. <laughs> so all tractor supply. They're online, guys. They're in most towns. 40% um, off the Christmas right now. Great little gifts for kids. They have stuffed animals and everything. Thank you, tractor supply, for the great, amazing products you um, have came out with this year. And everybody, happy holidays, and I will not be doing one tomorrow or Sunday. I will be at Tractor Supply at the Farmer's Market on Sunday, so we're going to be packing up. Bye-bye, everybody. See you on Monday.